everyone. You are watching China Plus News live on Twitter. I'm Stephanie. I'm here with my colleague Evan. We are live in the capital city of China, Beijing. And today, our topic is very different. Welcome to Stephanie's Kitchen. We have a very special guest joining us today, Shan Shan. Shan Shan, why don't you say hi to our audience? Saludo, cari amigo y mi estas Shan Shan en la esperando redacción de China Radio Invernacia. <laughs> wow, Shan Shan, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. What does that mean? It's Esperanto. I'm speaking Esperanto. So hello, Esperanto. everybody. Esperanto, hear that? Yes. Uh huh. I am Shan Shan from the Esperanto Service of China Radio International, and my work is uh, every every day I use Esperanto to translate the news from Chinese to Esperanto and send it to uh, all over the world, uh, all over the world, and. I uh, make the reports and write articles and uh, do some interviews uh -huh. uh, with Esperanto using Esperanto, and I uh, yes, it's my work. That's awesome. Yes. We have an expert in Esperanto, mm -hmm. and this is the first time I think we are officially live to the world. So if you are quite uncertain about your language or you want to know more about Esperanto. Feel free to contact us, and we have expert Shan Shan to joining us, and we'll bring you more about that language and also what we are going to do today. So I'm going to call you Chef Shan Shan, actually. Okay, <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so you guys can see the ingredients lying in front of us. Uh, so it's very different from from what you've seen before. You guys might be guessing those are leaves. So that's actually correct. But why we are doing that today? I want to introduce you guys something. If you can see this picture, so it's actually for the Dragon Boat Festival, which is coming to us in next week. So Dragon Boat Festival, also known as the Double Fifth Festival, because it lies on the fifth day of the fifth month on the lunar calendar. And why we are doing that? If you can see, there is a man here. So his name is actually called Chu Yuan. He's a respected member of the government back in Chu Dynasty, and uh, unfortunately, someone set him up, and uh, he lost. The emperor thought, you know, he's no longer loyal to him. So, very unfortunately, he committed suicide, and people there, in order to, you know, pay tribute to him, so they make some rice and wrapped in bamboo leaves. They drop it in the river to keep the fish out of biting this guy's body. So this is a really sad story, but also a food come out of this story. I have another picture here. It's very cute, personally. So these are little zongzi here riding the boat of the dragon boat. So that's why we are here today with Chef Shan Shan's help. We are going to learn from her. How to make zongzi? So let's get started. I can't wait. So, what we should do? So I see so many ingredients here, uh, and this leaf is in the water. Why is in the water? Yes, uh, we know that the zongzi. Uh, this is called zongzi. This by is the called zongzi. Yeah. Um, another word about the trans uh, trans translation about mm -hmm. this food is. Rice dumpling. Yes, rice, rice. dumplings. Oh, For yes. those of you who know about dumplings, it's a traditional Chinese food mm -hmm. wrapped in flour. It has meat, mince in it, and this zongzi is very different. So we we really don't have other names for it. If you are familiar with Chinese food, you might know baozi, jiaozi, which is dumplings. So that's what we call it.、Mm -hmm. So this we call it zongzi. So zongzi is to have two parts. Uh, one part is the leaf, and another part is the filling is rice. So it's very important to firstly do something with the leaves. Right. Yes. The so leaf. these leaves are soaked in water.、Mm -hmm. I want to show you guys. So this is a dry leaf. So this is what it sh looks like. It's very dry. And、uh, Shan Shan told me before, you can't really wrap this,、uh, wrap zongzi using this. Because it's very crisp, so it's easily broken. So you can see, so it cracks very easily. Which is why we need to soak it in the water 
and to make sure it's more good, it's good for the wrapping part. Yes. Uh, the first part, uh, the first step is, uh, firstly, you have to put this uh, dry leaves into in the water mm -hmm. for at least four hours. Four hours. Yes, that is not easy work. Yes, we prepared four hours ahead of our live streaming for you guys already. It's not yes. enough. Oh, After okay. four hours, we have to boil the leaves. Wow. Yes, we have the. Uh, we have Just to imagine boil. those poor leaves, what they begin through. <laughs> yes, uh, the time maybe you have to uh, boil it uh, two or three minutes. Okay, that's yes, not too bad. that's enough. Mm -hmm. And after the boil, and uh, remove the leaves and take them a shower. Take them a shower. A shower, yes. <laughs> that's a shower so about cute. <laughs> cold water shower. Cold water yes, shower. Yes, for the leaves. <laughs> wow. And then after. The shower and put the leaves into the cold water again. Oh, yes, boy, that's mm -hmm. a lot of things to prepare. And uh, you guys can see this leaf uh, is not very wide, so it's pretty thin actually. Mm -hmm. So for the material to make zongzi, there are two kind of leaves that we can choose from. So depending on where you come from. So I consider myself a northerner. So uh, in my hometown, we would use these more often. So it's very small. But if you can see this zongzi, it's very big. So you can't really use this leaf to make a zongzi like this. So usually these are much wider leaves. So those are bamboo leaves. You can see it's very big. And those are usually the red leaves. So it's just the different shapes and we can create different shapes of zongzi as well. And it's not only just this shape, but this is what we are going to learn today, isn't it, Shan Shan? Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. now- It has four uh, angles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's get started. I get started. Uh, and, and second? Right, second. right. <laughs> yes. Don't I forget the rice. The yes. The mm -hmm. So the glutinous rice, mm -hmm. here it is. Yes, it's not the normal rice. Yes. It's uh, called mm -hmm. glutinous rice. Yes, glutinous uh, rice. another name maybe it's sticky, sticky rice. Sticky rice, yes. yes. Because you can guess because it's very sticky and uh, it creates this really yummy taste. It's very mm -hmm. good. Yes. And the sticky rice also need water. Yeah. So put it in a cold water. Um, For and how we'll many hours? <laughs> I'm already guessing now. Uh, firstly, a wash. A wash. Uh, wash the rice yes. and, uh, a few times uh -huh. until the, the water is clear and then put it in the cold water for at least four hours. Four hours, four well, hours. join the club, four mm -hmm. hours so mm -hmm. coming. <laughs> uh, much better you uh, keep it for uh, maybe one night. One night. Yes, okay. it's better. Uh -huh. And then... So one night bath for the glutinous rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, a date, week. are we gonna talk about the date? Uh-huh, yes. Mm -hmm. So we have date. right dates prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, its date is very um, important and mm -hmm. it's very s sweet. Yes, um, so it can add more flavor mm -hmm. to the zongzi themselves. Although some people also prefer a zongzi just with glutinous rice. And then when it's all done, they just put some sugar on it. So that's the other way to do it. Uh, but today we are going the traditional way. So we chose the right dates. So let's mm -hmm. get started. Okay, firstly, we have uh, we have to use two right. leaves. Okay. Do you want to um, try? Yeah, of course. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so should I put it like parallel yeah. or no, 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 not cross. Not it's cross. Just okay. So just the, this. the smaller one is in the top. Smaller one. Which one is smaller? Okay, uh, this uh, one. I think the smaller <laughs> one. Smaller one on top. Yes. Yes. And hold mm -hmm. the leaves mm -hmm. and then turn it. Turn it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I'm not doing it right. <laughs> Just like this. Yes, yes. So this is how it works. Not, not working for mine though. <laughs> Just like a funnel. Uh huh. Uh, yes, yeah, just yeah. Like funnel. Uh huh. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, great. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. Thank you, uh -huh. thank you. And then. Uh huh. Put the date. Oh, my favorite part. Okay, there mm. you go, sweetie. 
All right, that's very easy. I think I chose a big one. This is rather big. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll go with a smaller one. Okay. So, okay, sit mm. here. Like the the date uh, can help you to uh, to stop the rice uh, oh, falling down. down. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I see now. Mm -hmm. okay. It's very very useful. Okay. Not only the taste, but uh -huh. only the, okay. the function. Yes, yes. Very okay. pragmatic. Okay, and then put the rice into. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. So it the water can water. fall down. Yes. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the rice are not because the at the bottom there is a date there. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Very smart. Okay. Then okay. what should I do? Uh, I need a more. little bit more. Okay. I'm just gonna go with this. Okay. I'm afraid they will fall. <laughs> and then uh -huh. cover the rice okay. with the leaf. Okay. So and you just put it back. Yes, put okay. it back. To put it back. Uh-huh. And, and how, how does it keep this shape? I mean Yes, look at me. Okay. Cover it. Yes. And Hold this, okay, and use your two fingers, okay, to hold this, okay, and uh, oh, I see how you use the tail. Yes, I'm always curious why we point on <laughs> this tail. The tail is uh, oh. useful. So you basically just uh, spinch the zongzi and then mm. separate the tails. Yes. Okay. And but then, I don't know how to wrap it. How did you do that? You did, you did amazingly. Right? <laughs> I, um, you know, my work is the okay. announcer and reporter <laughs> about Esperanto. Yeah. So after work, I'm not the announcer and the reporter anymore. You're I'm the, the ambassador <laughs> of the <Zongzi. laughs> no. I, I'm the uh, gourmet master. Oh, you're yes, a foodie. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm the very interested in cooking. Oh. I am a blogger in the internet to wow. to, to, go, um, to write my awesome. recipes. Awesome. Yes. Then if you know something else that's interesting, feel free to tell us and we can mm. do this together. It's fun. Yes, it's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so happy to have a real expert to join mm -hmm. the show. After after all, I mean, this is not an easy job. I managed to put my zongzi in this yes, way. Yes, you did a very good job. You did a very good job. <laughs> That's the best I can do. But I've already seen those rice coming out. So for the first time you try it, that might happen. Mm -hmm. But don't give up. Give a, mm -hmm. you know, more try. Yeah, so there you go. So Look, this is exactly like what this looks like. So this is what, when you steamed them. When you steam the dome, the color of the leaf will change. Uh, but right now, it's very much still green. So mm -hmm. this is wonderful. Yes, All we have right. to uh, steam or boil it for two hours, maybe. For two hours? Yes, wow. it's very a long time. Yeah, I'm going to set my zones right here. <laughs> I haven't wrap it, I haven't you, you, wrapped it up yet. But do I you need to tie it up? Or? Uh, I think it's OK. I'll, I'll give this zones a you know, a rest okay. <laughs> from me strangle it <laughs> perfectly. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what this is. And also, uh, so you are actually supposed to write the zongzi using this. So this is a, uh, it's also actually a leaf, I guess. Yes. You just basically mm -hmm. peel it. So you give it a peel like this, except, you know, this one I already showed you guys. It's easily get cracked. So you are supposed to use this to wrap it, um, to wrap it up. And uh, now we just uh, use the cotton thread. Mm -hmm. So this one helps us to wrap it better. But I want to show you guys this. If you want to use this, don't forget to uh, firstly <laughs> so, uh, soak, soak it. Soak it. Yes, soak, soak it, it in the cold water. Bus, maybe a few candles lying yes, around. Yes, boil it. <laughs> and soak and boil mm -hmm. and a uh, cold water shower. <laughs> And then I like, the I like the way how she put it, you know, it's really, the stones itself really come to alive. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. So what we just demonstrate to you guys is the basic uh, means of the dates and the glutinous rice. 
Actually, we have a couple of more toys. If you can see this awesome picture, I know this looks much better than ours. But I want to tell you guys, depending on where you come from and what kind of flavor you prefer, you can have a virus choice of the zongzi uh, mints. So what we had is a traditional one of the date. We go with the old school. You can also go with the full glutinous rice. And also in this picture, you see the chestnut and wolfberry in it. So it really depends on what kind of mints you want. And uh, when this zongzi is done, uh, some people like to spread some, you know, sprinkle some sugar on it. So this will taste better. And also like what I said before, uh, if you uh, didn't use the date in it, it's just a full glutinous rice, you can also sprinkle some sugar on it. And uh, this leaf is pretty big, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I would say this perhaps is the bamboo leaf from the southern area. Now, so I want to thank you, Shan Shan, for showing us how to do uh, zongzi, mm -hmm. for the real zongzi, the, <laughs> the one that we can actually eat. Mm -hmm. Now, can you guess what this wow. one is? It's paper? Zongzi. <laughs> yes, it's made yes, paper. exactly. You it's made it? Yes, I made it. I made oh. it for you in thank order you to say so much. in order to say thank you for showing us the food the zongzi. But I also have a question for you. Okay, do you know how to make this? No, <laughs> totally not. Perhaps you know, but she is just trying to make me feel better about myself so I can teach her something. Uh, then do you want to learn how to make this? Yes, sure. Okay, I have a question first. Mm -hmm. Guess how many paper we need to make this? How many? Uh, four. Why do you say four? Uh, mm, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're very close. We're getting very warm. Okay. So you actually need three papers mm -hmm. to make this. As you guys can see, I'm going to use Chef Shan Shan's Zongzi as an example. So you can see the resemblance. It's very similar. And that's why we can use this as a kind of Zongzi as well. Uh, it's actually pretty sturdy, as you can see. So it's not easily break, which is why we need uh, several more papers to prepare it. I've actually made one already. So we need three mm. papers. Should so this is part of... Oh, I know why I say four papers. Oh, because, because it's for you. It's for you. Oh, <laughs> that is that is genius. Do, do that like, is do genius. like this. I love that. that. I love okay. that. Mm. Absolutely, masterpiece straw here. Mm -hmm. So I've got two papers okay. set up. So why don't we give it a try? Yes. Okay. It's Let's very start. it's very easy. So the third paper I've already prepared that. I'm gonna leave it here. Very easy. First, we fold it. Mm -hmm. So guys, the reason why I show you this paper zones is because uh, maybe not all of you have the access to the real zones or the leaves, but you could certainly do one of these, just, you know, add a little bit festive mood for the coming up uh, Dragon Ball Festival. Now we fold it and then we fold it again. We can do a fringe like this first. Yes. And then we open up, mm -hmm. you fold this part, fold this part, and fold this part. Create the crisp. You might want to use the table to give it a harder try. Mm -hmm. So this part is very simple. Okay, make sure you press harder because we are going to use these lines. Very mm -hmm. important. Now, very funny, so you create this little triangle here. Wow. And a little triangle on the upper part. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do this very quickly. Mm -hmm. So here and here. So we need two. One in the lower bottom, one in the upper side. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, so it's this, right? So I believe you should get this. The next step, go with this line and fold it like this. And this lower part, Fold it like this. I can teach it to my daughter. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. As what you guys can do to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we put. Now this step is very important because this is how we can create this part. You don't want to mess this part up. So this side, this side, go in this layer. Ooh. You have. 
have to fold in this layer. Yes, this is very important. And this side, fold in this layer. This is very important. You have to make sure you fold it like this. You can use the table to make sure you do it properly. Yes. Yes, exactly. So now we've got all three of these. So the next part is you can create uh, as much crisp as you want uh, to give it a purple fold. These are just the preparations. We don't really need to do anything. So we just uh, create this crisp. When we are trying to put them together, it's easier. Mm. And then you put this way because these can this help way. us. Yes. Uh. Okay. So we just need these lines. Those can work as a guidelines when we are fold them all together, so it's easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the third part is very confusing. Actually, <laughs> you gotta give it a couple of times try until you finally get it. Uh, when you are doing the last step, I think one good idea to keep in mind is the shape of the real zones. <laughs> so you have to remind yourself, what shape are we getting right now? Uh, because it's very confusing. May I have this? Yes. Uh, so you find one of the area, mm -hmm. you put this corner in it. Mm -hmm. So, and then you put this part in this area. Make sure you don't want to, you don't want to put it, you don't want to put it in there in here. This will be wrong. You see? Oh. This will be wrong. So the part is to actually create this kind of shape. Mm. So it would be like something like this. And now, I'm not sure if the camera can tell you any. That's okay. I'm not sure if the camera can tell you anything because I actually tried several times to get the hang of it. You have to keep putting every angle into the inside of each of these and eventually you will get this. Mm -hmm. Let me see if today is my lucky day. Okay, so I will still need to, hang on. Need to go with the order first, and then. For me, it's more easy to make the real zones, <laughs> <laughs> not the well, paper one. <laughs> yeah, I think the paper one gives us a prominent uh, mm -hmm. kind of like something that we can get hold on to. And also, I'm gonna leave this one here. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, we can teach our kids how to do that, and they might really enjoy this. And I think the real zones gives us, you know, when I was little, despite I don't really know how to do this, um, I do enjoy the process to join my grandparents mm. and uh, make zones together with them. Mm. Because this is a very precious time for us to, oh, sorry, to work it together as a family. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing as we like uh, the dumplings. I think these traditional holiday gives us a time that we can do it better. Okay, I'm, com I'm completely confused myself right now. <laughs> this is very tricky. Okay, I'm getting it. Okay, I will in try. The meantime, in the meantime, I think Chef Shenzhen is going to make more real zones for us. Yes, I want to try how many real zones I will make during well, your... Well, yeah, well, I'm <laughs> making this zones here. Uh, not just the paper one, you could also seal, the zone, seal this zones shape into other uh, things. One thing that I want to point out is that uh, in this Dragon Boat Festival, you could also make a you could also make this zones shape out of so many different things. Voila, I've made one. Wow, yes. wonderful. Yes, so this part is very tricky. I'm not gonna tell you guys it's easy, but once you made it, you're really happy about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the meantime, I, I think too. we've got another zones coming up. Now, the very last thing I want to show you guys is this. So during uh, Dragon Boat Festival, as I told you guys before, uh, apart from the food we have, we have Dragon Boat Race, when people ra will race on their boat. Uh, like I showed you guys before, this, instead of zongs on it, which is really cute, mm -hmm. we have uh, real people row the Dragon Boat and in order to get number one. And this little thing that wrapped up, so it says peace and fortunate. Uh, so this is also a decoration in the shape of zongzi that can bring you good luck. And sometimes we do.
do this during Dragon Boat Festival as well. Wow, we have another one coming yes. up, guys. <laughs> I can't wait when this show wrapped up, we can actually have some zones to try it out. Well, we are very happy to have Chef Shanshan joining us today. And if you like this show, if you like how we make the food together, please feel free to comment down below and let us know. And if you also want to know more about... Uh, what Esperanto? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> give us a call and leave a comment down below and we will give Shanshan a call and maybe, you know, next thing you know, you are speaking this world language and introducing yourself to the world, which is such a good thing to all of us to say. And if you want to know more about a Chinese traditional festival, such as the coming up Dragon Festival, which is why we did this ahead of time, so you guys can try it at home. If you want to know more, and please let us know as well. And once again, we are so honored to have Shan Shan here. And that will be all for live streaming today. And this is China Plus News, and I'll see you next time. Very happy to be here. See you next time. Thank you, Shan Shan.